as you've been saying, the monkey on their back, and that monkey is most definitely French. And look at this, here comes Navi, trying to start as they mean to go on. Guardian gets, does get the first onto MBK, but Apex bites back. The bomb going in, though, but look at that damage done early. That's right. Envious and Kiyoshima are still now trying to get, uh, sorry, Kenny S and Kiyo are still trying to get in position right now, but they are now here. Flamey, you see, trying to do some work there with that Glock. He does get the better of Kenny S now. 2v4 situation. Navi a little bit low for the most part, and Apex is able to capitalize on that one. Kiyoshima as well chimes in. 2v1 oh, uh, wow, two two now is Apex does take down Edward. The bomb is down. Oh, that's a great way to disrupt that one here. Apex is burning down. Kiyoshima, they have to head for the hills and try and take down Siege himself. It's going to be the 1v1 and Siege. He gets it done. What a beast he is. And maybe that is what's going to get Na'Vi started off in this one. Absolutely stellar play from the man. Yeah, crucial Molotov. This is something I think, I actually, now I cast my mind back, something I see an awful lot. They get that bomb down early, and then that Molotov, that investment Perfect. sees keeping himself alive, keeping himself in the running, and getting that Molotov lined up perfectly. Beautiful stuff then to start Navi off. Doesn't matter how many frags you get if it's not the man holding the molly with that strategy. And uh, something exciting being thrown in from MBK, picking up the Nova in the second round. Interesting stuff here. You've got no armor, of course. It's only Kirishima happy in Apex with the I mean, armor. You can hold a close angle maybe on the site. It's a, oh, that's exactly yeah. what he's doing. And does look like he's expecting to have a couple of heads thrown his way. Oh, no. <laughs> he had a little bit of a challenge by Edward, and that's all it took in order to find him. It does look like the bomb and Envy are going to be dropping too. That's it. Navi filtering out on towards this B-side here and encountering, well, minimal resistance, I'll be honest. There's Flamey again. 3-4 this round for the man. Just making mincemeat of Envious right now and Happy trying to channel what we've seen from Happy in the past with this Deagle, but it's a big job for him and Edward is not going to give him the highlight clip he's looking for. Yeah, I've just seen his name of his uh, Deagle. Oh dear. Team Solo wrecked. I'm in love with that one. As there was a little bit of a kind of moaning period on the floor. He was just moping about, complaining about that one. But no, that is going to be 2-0 then for Navi. And we're going to be seeing just the pistols for Envy going into this one. So strong start for them. It's really crucial if you do start on that T side to get those initial three because those are the numbers on the board that, you know, the CT side can't deal with. If you get the first three and then you proceed to have a little bit of touch of brilliance, that's when you start seeing train maps one with these crazy, crazy numbers. Navi now. Still with two Galils. Definitely plenty of nades there with the exception of Flamey. So they're wanting to start to apply the pressure. And again, MBK playing close on this B side, but probably he's not going to see too much action right now as Navi seem to be more preoccupied with this A side. Apex is pushed up to Electric there, but Flamey again opens up the account. Guardian's going to move around as well. Zeus is chiming in. It's all about Navi right now. They're painting it yellow and black as Guardian does take down Kenny S with the nade and MBK. Well, he was out of position. He wasn't where the fight was, and he gets himself up to the top of the ladder. He will await someone's head to hopefully show Envious, in the meantime, putting their heads together now as they do approach their first buy, I have to start their engines. Yeah, this is just going to be a case of trying to take something away. I think Navi, ooh, I was going to say Zeus is happy to kind of take a risk Cheeky. with his Galil, but no, even he's not interested. I think he realizes that the uh, pain could be waiting for him at the top of that ladder. Instead, he will linger in Pop Dog as the time continues to tick away. And MBK, I mean, he's got very little to lose. If he could just take one rifle away. That would be rather nice. Instead, though, he doesn't like he's going to be holding fire. Maybe, actually. Oh, hang on. There's a low health Guardian. He's approaching him fast. This could very well be even better for him as he does catch Guardian's hand and take a rifle away from Navi. Just a little bit of economic damage inflicted by Team Envious as we head into that first buy. Who knows if he'll pay dividends further down the track. Kenny S going glass cannon here. No armor for the man. The rest of Envious, though, opting for those rifles. Plenty of flashes for Apex and NBK now as well to stall out things on that beast. Always excited for the Kenny S Guardian matchup. It's always one that can really bring us some sexy CS. And let's see if that's going to be delivered to us right now. Instead, it's going to be on either end of the map, I think. As Kenny does get himself up into heaven fast. Guardian towards Pop Dog. Not going to have the ideal angle in order to take that Orb Jewel instead, though. He could have a chance of casting his eyes towards Ivy, and he does do just that. And so far, the T side definitely looking to set themselves up for an A push. Four members of the five all gathered to push through Ivy and Pop Dog, respectively. So yeah, Ivy's still smoke for the moment. It would be Kiyoshima that would be waiting for them to push through it here. But Guardian and Zeus just inching their way out of Pop Dog. Guardian knows as soon as he gets that kill, it's on for young and old. They're going to push out on towards that site. But here's Kiyoshima as well. He's got his hands full at the moment with these two Na'Vi players. He knows there's two of them at least going to be pushing into him right now. And again, MBK going to have a quiet one here. May make a rotation up and towards on the back of B at this stage. We'll have to see who will be waiting for him now. Seize did take down Kiyoshima. So that's opened things up at Ivy now. And Navi can start to just close the gap, close the trap a little bit now. They have three players ready to push in on towards that A tunnel. 
Yeah, and Guardians actually pushed over towards B. This is a, a very interesting play from Navi. Three players stacked up now towards T1, and they're just going to push on through. This could be a wrap. I think it is. NBK is about to have a whole lot of friends over at this party on the B site, because Zeus is bringing the bomb. Guardians pushing from behind. Oh, and if he could just catch Zeus, that's the bomb loose. That's huge from MBK. He could very well take the orb out of Guardian's hands, but Guardian, too damn quick. 30 points of health now. And Navi, this has been an intriguing play, an intriguing turn of events. And Kenny, not quite going to hit the shots. It's going to cost him his life. That's what no armor's going to do for you now. Is Apex going to push down ramp? He knows that Guardian, and at least Edward will be close, but he's not looking up. Now he does, but it's a little bit too late. And sees with that recovered orb is going to take him out. What an interesting style from Navi then. Three players from Ivy, they get the Frank T1 and then just push, like almost through CT spawn, through uh, the T1 to Z connector, and then just wraps onto B. Very nice. Zeus and Guardian taking that bomb delivery a little bit more safe route. And that's going to net them the fourth. Big. That was their first real test, and looks like they passed that one with flying colors. MBK was reluctant to push actually into sort of back of B on that one, so he was sort of waiting on the side to receive that one here. Now, oh dear, CZ for Kenny S. It's a deagle for Kiyoshima. Not a lot to work with here at all for Envious. And Guardian, oh, he loves to play this line, and he knows there's a lot of plays. He tries to get the flick up towards this. He's going to be able to connect it, but CZ and Edward are going to make short work of Envious right now, and Guardian doesn't even have to make a shot. CZ and Edward, partners in crime right now, two apiece, but NBK tries to re rejuvenate his team, or at least make something happen there. He does get Edward, but it's just not enough. Navi, five on the board to none from Envy. Yeah, even getting the bomb down as well, just salt to the wound, extra of cash in their pockets, and talking of cash in their pockets, this almost feels like the same kind of situation we saw Titan in an overpass, you know, those early kind of frags, those early deficits, of course, for Envy, where they really, you're not seeing Navi go down to low players, they're keeping them high, and picking up these rounds convincingly, and that does lead to this current situation. Then again, Envy bringing in the double up, let's see how they can build from this one, because I think we could be seeing again from Navi. Zeus still towards B, and those three still towards Ivy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a bit of a repeat. Two orbs is a big investment from Envious to, to, to take from this position here. They're really hoping to get the ball rolling on this one. MBK, again, the solo B hold right now. He struggled to find a really good position to hold any pushes from. Moves back into the get right spot. And now Ivy being contested yet again. Smoke is up there, but Kenny S now bolstering the Envious forces in that position. Molotov will force him back towards the other tunnel here as he does look towards that bomb site. Apex is already there. Envious not quite settled here. There's still motion. There's still transient, I guess. And there's a bit of Navi moving here towards that B site. It's going to be happy we'll rotate, but MBK will still be the first to receive this push now. He must hit these shots and hang on. Yeah, and it's just, it's the kind of patience required to be that B player because you are going to have rounds where you sit still for a minute. And that's exactly what's happened. Now it's going to come down to everything that NBK can do. It's a question of survival. Less than fragging, but not going to happen. Seized dashes his dreams. And the rotate's coming in, but they're going to be dropping as soon as they get there. Seized with a crucial double. The bomb's going in from him as well. And now we find ourselves in a rather unfavorable scenario. They've already lost one of the two orbs they brought into the fray, and they're just going to be hoping to keep the rest of these weapons. Maybe do some damage, and Kyo does a little. It's a tickle, but nothing. Navi laughed that one off, and we are going to be seeing all five still standing. Another neat and tidy round from Navi. Very, very hard when uh, Navi take B away so quickly from Envious. You see they all sort of had to filter through Z connector. Uh, Kenny there will sort of get some consolation here as he is and Ivy ahead what? would actually die. I think he falls down as well. Kenny gets a second as well. So some guns being taken away from Navi. He's going to take the sting out of this round a little bit for Envious, but it doesn't change to the fact that there's six rounds oh. down and Kenny goes to no scope. Unfortunately, he's not able to deliver that little bit of magic this time. I love that as well. Like evading the flash by pushing up. If only the no scope had, co had collected. Connected is the word I'm looking for. That right would have there. been just one man left for Navi after the five of them. Could have turned things 360. 360. I mean, we're all <laughs> struggling out with at the moment. But yeah, you can see that survival rate from Navi. They kind of win rounds, like, uh, theoretically, with five players still standing. And then as the save comes in, they start losing bodies. Edward's mm -hmm. committing suicide, no less. As now we are going to be seeing a pretty shaky buy from Envy. Let's see how much they can build with this one. Did catch a glimpse. Yeah, Guardian peeking out through Connector. But doesn't look like he's going to be able to find anything just yet as he's being teased and taunted by Apex and Kia. Guardian loves to hold from T2 here. He's looking for Kia or someone crossing there, but Flamey does take down Kenny as his teammates really doing the job for him right now. He is just going to be patient now as Kiyoshima understands that, of course, his opponent's going to be there. With flashes in, and Apex is the one to follow up on that flash. He's looking for Guardian. He didn't find him as well. Guardian got him just around the corner there with a nice little shot at close range. And Envious are down to three players. Two for Masters, one and four, and not a lot of utility as well. Just the one smoke between them now. Sees he's going to make a push. Kiyo's there, but he doesn't have a lot of health after that little engagement. And Flamey will pick him up.
So now just two remain, Happy and MBK, and they're on a sight apiece. It's going to come down to some outstanding individual plays if they want a chance. Now the first round on the board, this train is not looking fantastic for them. Such a strong start for Navi on their T side. But Happy does start when he means to go on, but nothing more will be given. As Zeus does shake his head, and we are going to be seeing NBK make a decision. And it's an executive one to try and come from the CT spawn. NBK will just wait here, just try and salvage what he can. Navi, they're on a roll right now, there's no doubt Aww. about it. And, and Envious, well, the Envious train hasn't even left the station. As NBK would have to sit in spawn. Expect something from Connector, but that's pretty much it. So zero and seven, Navi. Strange stuff here. Actually, this is almost coming up as a, as, as a number here. Would be surprised to see Envious take the next round, just purely based on a trend from what we've seen here in these last few games. But Envious got to put their heads together. This is what I'm talking about. About strong, 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 strong T sides. God, let's get it out. Envious don't really seem to have an answer. They're trying to put the square block in the round hole. It's just not working. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that toy as a kid? I'm sorry, yeah, no, yeah? I'm with you. I'm sorry, it was just it was that combined with "Come on, Mitch, get it out" that really threw me into a spin. <laughs> I'm back games. now. Seven one. Let's go back to that. While I just, okay, okay. So seven zero. Let's see if Envy can go ahead and follow suit with this kind of seven one result because that's something that we've been seeing a bit of a trend. It would be surprising if they did it with this deal party that they have started. Just the one rifle that MBK managed to recover, of course, from the, the round prior. Interesting to see them so aggressive, and those nades are doing a good start. Bringing him down to 16. Yeah, they're trying to shut down Guardian, bombard him with shrapnel. But it's actually Edward who will open up the account. He takes down Apex. He's now at the bottom of Pop Dog right now. As Kenny S is actually in quite a forward position here. He's quite aggressive with that Deagle. Looking for, hopefully, or maybe Guardian, if he can get him off the map here. But he's playing very cannily. Guardian staying safe. His you know, position can sometimes seem a bit aggressive. But here on train, he's just wanted to watch from that T2 tunnel and get some picks. Kenny is at the bottom of Pop Dog. Corpse of his teammate right there. He's got to be very careful about the push in on towards this one as Navi starting to move towards Ivy yet again. Maybe they'll tease this one and go back to B. Who knows? But Kenny, he's going to send that ladder. Will he get the shots off quick enough? He does. And Edward just gets a few deagle shots towards the knee and it just implodes. Flamey and C's now working through these tunnels in the middle of the map. Oh. Kenny S is making good on these. Promise to use that deagle to good effect here. And now we have a 4v3 in favor of Envy. Could this 7 1 curse be reality as now it's going to be seized? And Zeus trying to make a difference. They do do that. Happy and now MBK have to try and kind of cobble together what is left. Three players to find. And actually MBK does make it level. And this is nice. Happy then is going to have to go into a 1v1. He has recovered a rifle. No armor to be seen. And Seized looking for his third. Back and forth they go. The dance is going to be won by Seized. Snaps his fingers and finds his third. And that's going to be Navi then on Eight. Envy still not off the starting line, and there's only there's only so many rounds left now before it kind of gets out of control. No, I mean happy making enough sound to wake the dead. Uh, obviously on the bomb side, not having the armor as well. He just wasn't, I guess, geared for that that easy head to head or that that equal head to head engagement. Double up again. NBS putting a lot of money into this one here again. They're just trying to break through. They're just trying to create some opportunity and capitalize it off of here from the mid to sort of late round. But the early picks are going to be important. Happy will do that. He takes down Guardians. Probably the first time we've seen that all game. And that's a great start. Envious breathing a sigh of relief. Some freedom for them now. But will Navi continue to apply the pressure? It does look like the best start Envy have had in a long time. Both orbs coming into uh, fruition there as Kenny and Happy on polar opposite sides of the map are making things happen. Interesting flash actually thrown out through that mini window. Nothing to be pushed off the back of it, though, as Navi may be just testing their options. You have, you have to remind yourself in situations like that. This is T-side train. You know, we regularly do see results 13-2, 14-1 for the T-side. And Navi have done eight better than that already against a team that quite literally just did the same thing to Fnatic. Zeus back through break room here. He's realizing that there's a lot of focus towards that part of the map and towards him. He can't really use that AWP he recovered from Guardian here. And he's just calling out to his teammates, let's head towards B. Let's test NBK. Let's test Happy, of course, with the AWP. Or at least they may be hoping he's not going to be there. But he's close to spools right now. And he's watching upper. NBK will be free to sit in that get right spot and watch the ramp down. It's a great hold for Envious now. But Navi, they're going to start to flood out in a second. Let's see what they can do. Be coming down to actually Zeus trying to cast his eyes on with the AWP as it's all that's been kind of fallen to him and he's actually going to go down. Unable to take that second shot and then all onto Flamey. They're all full health and they are going to pick that one up. It is Envy's first round. It took them nine but they are going to start 
to put one on the board and maybe try and build off the back of that one. Of course, you don't, let's not consider Navi's economy because they are going to be sitting so pretty after those back-to-back -back rounds that uh, Envy definitely going to catch a very small breath before the pressure is reapplied. And it's important to realise as well the investment that Envy has made in winning this round. They would have put themselves in a real hole had they not won this one. They had to win this round. Otherwise, it's getting almost to insurmountable deficits here. They bring it up, though. Orbs are still in the hands of Kenny S and Happy, so they can now start to put these to good use. Guardian, of course, will take one for himself. And it really seems like a lot of focus goes towards Guardian in the early uh, stages of the rounds. But he's happy to just let that happen. Beta, move back and let the rest of his team do work. So Na'Vi, still with good guns, still with the grenades. Time to shine. Let's see how brightly they can do that. And question marks really surrounding Envy has been... Not only their rotations, but just how much they've kind of... They've always seemed to lo lose that first man. Of course, the one exception was those two AWP picks off the back of Kenny and Happy. Netting them that first round. Kenny S now smokes towards Ivy. Knows how much of a focal point that's been for Na'Vi so far. Sees and Flamey are hoping to work it. And Guardian as well, waiting the wings for them to start to gain traction in that part of the map. Kenny will stall this one out. we will be looking just through that little jump spot here. Has the rest of Na'Vi actually set down towards Pop Dog? They might want to open things up in mid, let Guardian grab that bomb and push straight back through. But Kenny S is there as well, floating between those two sites. Kiyoshima up on the train, going to be smoking that position out as well. Envious buying time, they're bleeding down this clock. I wouldn't be too surprised if we do start seeing the number 20 before that bomb does go down. Now 35 and... Navi starting to set their sights. This is the wrap. This is exactly what they did before. Three players in Ivy. They're going to start to apply pressure, but Kenny this time greets them with open arms and a long... Oh, no, not going to get the second. It's going to just keep the time ticking away. 20 seconds now, and they are going to have to worry because MBK and Happy beautifully hold on towards B, and this plan has come crumbling down from Navi. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it two times in a row. We finally hit that critical mass. Uh, but Navi left it so late that a slight slip would probably leave it with not enough time. Now they're being forced into things given that the time is ticking down. Round, time will run out, of course. Navi will have to give that round up. Still, though, MPK and Kiyoshima going down. Crucially, though, those two warps are still in the hands of Envious, and they're going to try and abuse the heck out of those as long as they can. Yep, finding success with them as well. The fact that NBK and Happy, despite all of this like racket being made towards Ivy, three players making them their self, themselves known on towards A, still holding their vigil on B, and that actually did really show that there's a whole lot of reading going in from Envy into that round. Real solid stuff from them to find the second, and now it's just going to be a long uphill struggle to try and get some extra numbers on the board. Navi, where do you build from here? Well, they've got the weapons to do something here, at least. I mean, that, that economy, that buffer they bought themselves early on in the game, now they're starting to dip into that. And they'd love to pick this round up here and, and once again get back a few more rounds on the trot. Guardian looking, get tags up so heavily there. I think it was Apex in mid, actually, just giving him so much trouble, and even Kiyoshima now We'll take his shot at jumping up on top of the train. Kenny S diligently, as always, watching towards Ivy, but won't actually see any players push forward. Navi have sort of abandoned that as a, a, a prospect here, and they're going to try and make their push towards mid out of Pop Dog as well. With Guardian and Zeus are there. Season Edwards are coming forward as well. But where Envy is going to be? Happy's there as well. Apex takes down Edward. Flamey responds on towards him. Kenny pushing through that smoke with the orb out. The flick is brilliant on towards Seas. The bomb will go down now. This Zeus, his, his leg gets hit. Will the grenade be enough to finish him off? He surely won't be around for long now as Kenny's just looking for something to fire at, something. something some way to get involved in this. Some good job already. It looks like his teammates are going to be following in his footsteps. Good damage done by Kenny in that round. It doesn't look like he's finished just yet. Happy. Taking a lesson and a leaf out of Kenny S there. Picking up that final AWP frag necessary. Flamey did get so close though. Three big frags towards the closing end, the uh, closing minutes of that round. And now it's going to be the third for Envy. That's uh, three in a row now for the French. And if they can continue down this uh, this road, I think, we are, how's Navi's money now looking? They're still going to be going into that full buy despite three consecutive losses. That loss bonus starting to uh, kind of match up with what they'd previously acquired. And again, the double up. Envy have found something that works and they're going to try and build from there. Yep. Smoking heavily towards T-Train, flooding out of T-Connector, trying to get on towards that site there. That's the closest they've taken Envious in these last couple rounds. It's, it's good. It's going to have to be better, though, as Kenny S. Molotov forced away. Can't fire out of the tunnel. Kiyoshima up in that corner yet again. Happy is also contributing. Apex is on the side as well. He's looking towards Guardian. There's a player just below him towards his left, but I think he might have just gone down. No, Edward is there. Gets the double. Will he get the third? Kenny S. Get the USP out and shuts him right on down. And Guardian, yet again, has to make 
make something happen. He has to put this together behind that E-Box. And Kenny S sees him. A little bit too canny for that one and sends him packing. And Envious have managed to put four rounds together here. Yeah, and that's now four in a row. Three in that round for Kenny as well. And the AWP still paying dividends for the Envious boys. Still no sign of a Navi Ego, though. As, uh, that's going to be four. They're trying to make it five. If they close this gap anymore, I, I do fear for the Envious T side because it could be scary. We saw what they can do on their T side as well. And this is where things could get really interesting. This would, of course, be Navi's third loss today if, by some twist of events, Envious turned it around. And that's how important it is for them. They need this win. This win means a whole lot to Navi in order to stay in that kind of top six pool of the Pro League. Yeah, I mean, even, even a win here might make it hard for them to stay within that top echelon, losing two games here. But let's see what can be done, because Kenny S is already out of the game. He's already down, happy. Does have the AWP in hand there, of course. It was a great start by Flamey to pick him up. And Navia, again, a split. We're still working towards Ivy. They're still pushing the envelope. They're still trying to get through. Double smokes out from them as well to give Seize easier passage through. And Apex is in the smoke. They're trying to spray through it. Apex will go down as Seize. Cheekly enough, we'll pick him up with some spray. And now this is a problem. Now we're just three CTs standing. And the entirety of Navi still ready and waiting to execute onto the site. Looking to change that is Keo. Does get one and actually throws out a nade to try and deal some damage to Ivy. Not enough as Flamey catches him for his second of the round. Now just to Happy and NBK. Oh, what oh. was that? Oh, it whistles past the hip of Edward. And that's going to be a real problem as he does get the second as well. Happy's going to be kicking himself as that frag was fed to him. And Navi pick up nine. Well, that's their round for Navi right now. They, they did lose a few. Their buffer was dwindling away, but their persistence has paid off here as well. It seems like for them, it's been somewhat difficult in the last few rounds to get an early advantage. They got rid of Kenny S though as well. That gave them the ability to push on towards A or onto B, whichever one it may be, rely on their gunplay and not be worried about having shots coming in from all different angles. But look at this, Navi grouping up for the most part. Looks like they're not going to bother with Ivy right now. A lot of focus towards B. How quickly can the call be made? MBK throws out smoke to delay that push through ramp, but I won't be surprised if they just, just choose to flash and push on through. Seized is just waiting at the precipice of that smoke as the numbers continue to grow. Four members just at the brink of that smoke, and they're going to throw out a smoke of their own. Zeus throwing out the flash as well. He's going to be the instigator in this push, and he, NBK desperate for cover. He's wide open, and so is the site, as now Navi are going to be starting to get that bomb down. Anticipating a push from the back, it's going to be Garden who shuts that down, as he is all over the B site like a rash. And now Keo and Kenny are the last two men standing, wondering where it all went wrong. Well, Kiyoshima is way out of this one. He's still towards the A side. Might, might try and make a wide flank if he wants to get involved in this one. Kenny S still in CT does get on towards Edward there as he goes looking for yet another target. But between these two envious players in the time that is left, they must just back away here, save these guns for the last round of the half and hope that they can put a fifth on the board. And this is going to be... Uh an interesting one then, seeing what they can kind of bring into the battleground, considering, of course, Envious's money is not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. It's going to probably be an armored pistol if they can throw it all together. No, it's a lie. Okay, I see a FAMAS. I see an M4. It's just going to be Happy and MBK who are going to be scrounging, picking up the pennies from under the sofa to try and bring a buy into this final round of our first half here. Not too shabby. Navi, of course, doing one better. And they started with their push on towards B. They felt like they'd completely thrown all the numbers in towards that one. And yet, Envious get, got caught out before the bomb went down. Oh, oh my There God. it is. You cannot count out Envious' uh, eco play, by the way, or their force by performance. They always manage to make it happen really well. Apex, got to be struggling to make those shots if he's on the ladder already. He's not really the best place to be bracing yourself to get those hits. But it's a great great work there by NBK as Edward takes down Happy. They've slowed down Navi, but will it be enough? Apex going to be rotating in through Connector. It's an obvious place to be watching if you're Navi. You know where Envy's going to be filtering through. Flamey takes down Apex as well. He's having a great round. Kenny is going to go low, but he is going to be helped out by Kiyoshima there as well. Edward goes down as well. Kiyoshima makes it a 2v2. The bomb is planted and time starts to tick down. Zeus and sees them for Navi to try and clinch the 11th. As Kenny and Kyo are almost holding hands on the side. He's come from behind. They weren't expecting it through Connector. And now just 16 points of health. Kenny S has two to find and not too much time to do it. And this is horrible. He's just going to be walking into one of the Na'Vi players. He has to just make a decision on which one it's going to be. Zeus, what are you doing? Turns around at the wrong moment. He's going to get caught on the cross, though. Fortunately, low enough health for seized bullets to be enough. 11-4 on the half. What an attack from Na'Vi. 
superb stuff on the T side from Navi. Shaking off some of their doubts from earlier on tonight as well. Some very questionable performances, but they're feeling comfortable here. Have a look at this shot from MBK as well. See you later, Guardian. Thanks for coming. Beautiful stuff from him. And Envy, as I said, they always give you flashes of, of potential on those, on those eco rounds here. Not so much today. It seems like they've struggled actually to cobble things together. They've only been really been winning rounds when they're getting the double orb set up. They're having to invest deeply in these ones. So it's also credit to Navi as well for their anti-eco play. And they're giving due respect to Envy. I feel like they are here. But I tell you what, their hits towards the B side have been great. The amount of times we've seen NBK get completely caught out by them pushing from both upper and ramp. Very, very hard to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's terrifying. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes into Netflix and chill when he gives you that look. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. Oh my god, he didn't blink, dude. He's terrifying. Oh god. All right, so non blinking tees aside. I'm on tilt now, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's actually Lauren. She's responsible for the camera work today. She's going to find him again. Lauren, stop. Stop. So, I mean, Envious now with a heck of a lot of rounds to make up for, but their T-side is one that, well, recently they've been very, very good on, even up against the likes of Fnatic. So we're looking for some excellent set plays. We're looking for not only their strategy to be good, but the way they execute there just to be on point. Yeah, I mean, so this is it now. It's going to be whether a question of whether Navi can finally find another win against Envy, as this would, of course, be... Well, this, what is this now? It's been four, four losses uh, the five times they played. That's truly testing for Na'Vi. It's got a way on your mind. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, with 11 rounds here, it's a nice buffer. To be fair, it was... Uh yeah, I mean, it was the buffer we actually saw at halftime over on overpass as well, and we saw how that one finished out. So, <sighs> can you not? <laughs> <laughs> There's this little, like, train conductor cap as well here on train. And again, it's like my uncle, that's just seriously tilting me. <laughs> oh dear, that was a replay as well. Great, great to know we're putting this technology Our to good use. Our production is really yeah. making the most of that replay feature. First, highlighting how wrong I was about that wall bang. Mm -hmm. Yep, I need to watch that back because my brain really did kind of get DDoSed for that one. And talking of DDoS, where, where has Envy gone? Lost a man. We are missing, who are we missing? Happy? Where is Happy? He's going to be rejoining us now and... We are hopefully going to get underway relatively soon because there's a lot of question marks surrounding this half. Envy, of course, having a fantastic showing on their tee side just yesterday in the Face It League. And I really would be intrigued to know whether or not this is the Envy of yesterday or if it's the Envy that played just today up against Hellraisers losing out 14-16. I believe it was in Sivo. Yeah, that's right. I mean, and let's look to Happy as well. He was instrumental last night in the, in the win against Fnatic. Great game. Had a really, really, really good game. So, I mean, this is envious, of course. This is the envious we've seen for quite some time. But now they need to, you know, they need to think about how they're going to come back from this one. It's got to be sequential. It's got to be around by around. But I'm expecting good things from them. I don't want to curse them here. But after last night, I mean, to get, to get clean rounds on T-side off of arguably the best team in the world, you've got to have something up your sleeve. Yeah, let's see then how they choose to take this. It's going to be an interesting stack from the CTs. Four players then all grouped up on towards A at the start of this one, expecting a barrage of Ts to swarm the site. But no, no such luck. And instead, NVR can going to be taking a bit of a slower pace with this one. It's just MBK who's probably going to be the first encounter over towards Ivy. I say that the smoke does get thrown out and it's going to be Zeus who's going to be keeping him busy for a while. That's right, NBK won't be able to push through that one for the moment here. He will probably just sojourn with the rest of his team for a moment and maybe even give B some consideration here. Envious need this pistol round. I mean, Na'Vi lost a pistol round when they were down by this one. They managed to win the next one, but Envious don't really want that expectation to be heaped on their shoulders here. They just want to make it clean and efficient. And that will have a lot to do with the way that they go about hitting this bomb site now as well. No nades to work with. You'd usually expect them to have something in their arsenal for an execute on towards B. They're just everyone. full Kevlar, so there's nothing. There's not going to be any indication from it, from NV as to where they're choosing to push. It's all just going to be frags and bodies, and they do start. Unfortunately, on burst fire, didn't manage to finish that frag. But two members of Navi now down to 15 and 19, and now Navi fight back, or rather Edward does with two of his own. Gee, that was brilliant pushing out a connector and flaming as well. Going to be able to take down Kiyoshima. Only one play left now as Kenny S falls to Zeus, and it was looking so good for Envious now, but what can happen to do? He gets kills, he gets two, he's looking for a third right now, he's gonna back away in towards that connector. 
He's got three players still to try and juggle, and Flamey will put him down. A flash of hope there as well for Envious, but when Happy's the only man getting kills after his team's dead, it's a very, very hard deficit to come back from in a pistol round like this. Getting the bomb down, having men up while the bomb is down, that's almost, like, that should be a win in your books, but no, Edwards double started the ball rolling, and, and Navi just managed to finish that one off with style. So, picking up the pistol now with a lead like this, 12, Envy... It is starting to heat up. The pressure is starting to mount, and we are starting to see their response. They're not willing to see a second round slip away here on their T side, as it's going to be whatever they can scrape together. MBK does get a Galil dropped for him by Kenny, and we're going to go ahead and see what the two rifles and pistols can do here in a second. Kenny will actually save some money back for an AWP if he can get it as soon as possible, but Apex has gone for the AK here as well, so Envious going for a little bit of a hard force here, really just trying to get another round. I mean, 12 4, it's a sad story for the Frenchman at this stage. There are still opportunities to gain those rounds back. NBK getting a little bit aggressive here towards Ivy. He's going to force Zeus right back and around the corner. And he'll be looking towards the middle of the map. So just one player. NBK maybe not creating enough threat on his own here. As he's going to be dueling now. Guardian's going to get involved in this one as well. And unfortunately, two is always going to be one in that situation. Or at least mostly. And NBK will go down. Now sees is free to actually head out that way himself. But Apex watching in towards mid. He can hear Guardian above him, I'm sure. But he's got to connect the shots nicely done there. Guardian taken out of the equation. Kiyoshima gets involved with a deagle as well. But Zeus will put him away. This is it, and then two left. Seas and Flamey, they are still making that rifle work. Worthwhile investment for sure, as Apex has done so much. Three frags already, looking to make a fourth as well as Flamey is going creeping and crawling. I say that, he is so close to picking up the double. Happy down to seven, but Envy stabilize, and that second round force has netted them. The biggest reward of all, picking up that second round is so important, as they are going to completely reset Navi back down to the Stone Age. And you brought this up as well, Apex in V. And let's see what they make of this now again. Again, spreading out. NBK will be the man at long again. Happy. And Happy cheekily making his way through. Zeus in a very proud position up on top of that rail cart there. And Navi just going to wait for this push mostly towards A at this stage. So you would think, of course, they haven't committed too much just yet. Instead, just looking to go to the shooting range here on the long distance pistol. The rifle, they're definitely just using what they uh, have been given to their favor. Flamey, in the meantime, has done damage with just his P250. Him and Zeus banding together to take a rifle away. Immediately, Kenny and Apex put them back in their place. All then on to Guardian with just a Deagle. Four armored terrorists hunting him down. And, well, he starts like, like three. That. This could get exciting. Now down to three here. The bomb is planted, though. Guardian with it all to do at this stage. Looks towards MBK, but MBK sharp with the Galil shot and will be able to take him down. Now, Envious transitioning. They're, they're, I guess they're, you know, they're, they're, they're transitioning from a risky buy in that last round. Now getting another one on top of it. Now they're starting to pad out their economy that little bit more. And Navi, again, just have to sort of just, just hold. They have to hold in mid. Yeah, that's, that's a double eco then for Navi. And I say, oh, just as I say, that Guardian keeps it exciting with a scout. He can't afford it. And uh, let's see how much damage can be done by him. You do have these nades as well. So he's, he's hoping his teammates' nades are going to do enough to net some one-shot scout plays. And it doesn't look like that's going to be oh, happening. Oh, Just yes, that prime example of it. As he is rocking the sexy new scout. Not going to get anything else. So look at this rifle play from Envy. Kenny Even is. Kenny chiming in with three with the AK this time against the unarmored Navi. That's going to be seven then for Envy as they start to claw three back in a row. We've got a hand it to Kenny S there as well. He was almost caught in some, some sort of a crazy crossfire. There was a lot of people firing at him. He actually managed to play that really intelligently and, and get back up from his team. Didn't need an AWP to do some serious damage. He's leading, of course, now 17 kills, 13 deaths. And for a team that's in the, in the hole by about five rounds, that says a lot about how you're playing. And for Navi as well, now Zeus going a little bit quiet here. They must, be, they must lift a little bit. Double AWP for them now. They're making the investment to try and bring things back into their favor. Let's see how much they can do that then. The bomb's loose, so they're expecting a slow one. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that first frag is going to be provided by one of these two orbs, rather three orbs, excuse me. There is a double orb on Navi, as well as Kenny S wielding one of his own. Let's see, see who goes hunting. Guardian does swing and hit on towards Kenny S, towards Connector. That's a big one, as the orb presence now nullified for Envy. Can always trust Guardian to dispatch of his opposite number early in the round, the better. And now NBK as well, always on Ivy duty for the moment. He'd love to just, he's always taking his 1v1s against Zeus, but Guardian can drop back as well whenever he likes and gets the pick on him. 
down to three men, Team Envious, bombing held well back. Edward just with complete supremacy over that A side. And it's just no with limited options for Envious right now. Happy does have an orb. He goes for the shot. He's not going to connect that to Flamey. And Flamey will back up. He'll be screaming out of his team to get themselves ready on B. Seas is already in position at connector. And Envious, we need a stroke of brilliance from them right here if they're going to keep themselves with rounds in the pocket. Just like they're going to go for the one up, one down with the two players they have left, but that smoke's going to delay them. And even sees he's going to do one better. Does manage to pick up the final two frags necessary with his AWP. Double AWP then. It worked for Envy. It's working for Navi. It's accounting for 80% uh, of the frags in that round for, for, Na for Navi. So can't really uh, turn your nose down at that one. And they get themselves that round. Importantly enough, Envious showed signs. They have showed some signs. The same happened last half as well. But their their clusters of rounds are isolated. They're, you know, Navi getting some before, and then Navi managed to bring it back afterwards here. We're getting dangerously close now to the magic number 16 here. And Envious just don't really have enough rounds at this stage. Kenny S again persisting with the orb, going glass cannon. Plenty of utility, plenty of nades here for Envious. They're all mostly armored up. And of course, Navi are rolling still with that same double orb setup. Kenny S must survive the first five, ten seconds of this round. Absolutely, and of course that does involve not peeking Guardian as he previously fell foul too. And look at the damage done to Seize. He's going to be trying to back up out of there and he is going to be allowed to by the NV boys. Anticipating a fast push, but Intel gathered and I think Navi are kind of a little confused by this one. There's still three players starting to almost dig themselves deeper in towards A after that Intel has been gathered. Assuming it may be a little bit of mischief from the French. And indeed, MPK, NBK has made his way back around towards the connector area, just trying to keep the players busy on A. And it it's worked. I mean, there's still three players occupied on the opposite site to where this hit is about to come through. Yeah, Zeus is still concerned about Ivy right now, even with um, NBK actually joining the rest of Envious at back A. Guardian's still watching towards mid. Edward, of course, up on that, on that spot there as well. So, and Ivy's still very much set up for A right now. And like Envious, this. they're going to make the push here. Let's go. This is going to be good. Flamey then and Seize are the two CTs. They're about to be tested and he looks to be passing with flying colours so far. Just the one though. NBK puts him back in his place. As it is going to be a 4v4. The rotate comes in but it has enabled Envy to get the bomb down safe. Is it going to be a repeat of the pistol where the bomb went down and then Envy collapsed? Or are they going to be able to dig their heels in? Kenny does one better. Finds the frag. Finds a second as the bodies start to pile up. Now Guardian and Seized. 110 points of health between them. And three players. Oh, and he has the Molotov. It could be a taste of their own medicine at the end of this one if it comes to it. All right, Guardian now going up against Kenny. Does get the better of him now. And it's two warps still out for Na'Vi, but they have to get the defuse. You're speaking about passing with flying colors. I think the only flying color in this round is going to be red as Seas takes down Happy. Puts the ball straight through him. And now NBK will back away. Na'Vi didn't have the time. Still looking for the kills though and getting guns away from NBK. As you can see, the stack being highlighted there by Lauren. Five players all with their eyes dead set on A. Of course, the beauty of this map is... ramp. It does mean that Seize, though, is still the only player at B. You can get to Connector, but it takes a little bit longer to get across that side. So Navi, a limited amount of control over here. And now here come those set nades in. Seize barking at his teammates. Let's go, boys. They are coming in for B. He's going to have a shot towards Apex. He takes it down as he gets down the ramp. It looks for a second. He won't connect on towards that one. He takes down MBK, but Kenny S getting some of his own back towards Flamey. Kiyoshima now gets the double, and it's just two left for Navi. It's two warps in their hands as well. What can they do as Kenny S gets the plant? Time going to turn on its head. It's all then on to Navi to retake the site, regain control. It's not going to be easy considering the health taken away from Guardian already. Does catch Kyo on the push. Expecting a second through the smoke. He wasn't far off. It's going to be happy. Gets it through the smoke. Outstanding from Guardian. Three in this round. Isn't going to be able to give him the fourth as I have no idea what on earth just killed him, jumping to the floor in success, perhaps in celebration. And now it is seized first Kenny, and Kenny is trying to be playing the waiting game. Oh, he hits the shot and everything, so but no, lucky. not going to be happening. No kit for Navi either, and that's going to be another orb saved. Oh, I tell a lie, the damage was necessary to kill Kenny, and it does do just that, South Park style. Well, I mean, by rights, is either Kenny, Kenny gets killed by the orb shot or he dies to the explosion there. And that's the second round. That's the second round in a row that Envious have actually won, but they've all been very, very tough. I mean, they, they've just won them. Their economy last round, you see that I think it was Kiyoshima still had a Galil in hand. So yeah, this is good, but it's not filling up their bank account. You can see it there as well. Apex actually still with that Tech 9. So yes, they're getting the rounds, but margin of error uh, is still quite thin for them. Absolutely. And I mean, look at this. So is their buy. I mean, just 
a CZ really and a P250 with the remaining. Orp and Kyo's just going to be shredding through them. That's going to be three for him. Kenny is just going to be finishing off the job and it is just going to be that one weapon that they brought into the fray remaining. C's desperately going to try and take something away, but this could and will be another round on the board for Envy as they start to tighten the noose and close that gap. It was a terrifying first half and it looks like the... Uh, the power of the CT side is starting to dwindle on train if you look at recent results. Yeah, absolutely. We, we talked about it coming into this game. We almost treated it like it was just characteristic to Envy and Na'Vi to have strong T sides. Maybe that's still the case. But right now, it definitely seems like this is consistent with how we foreshadowed the game. Both teams with absolutely stellar T sides here. For Team Envious, they're in a position now where they can finish the game on the T side. But it's going to take a little bit more. They're clutching at the coattails of Na'Vi, but they need to catch up a bit more. Kenny has had a great angle, but somehow Guardian has got to before him. Incredible stuff from him now and he's going to try and do a little bit more damage now. Up on, the saw, on towards that train and Apex is going to jump the heck on out of there. It's away. Very little damage done to a Happy as well. Just brought to 87. He's going to be a fine to operate but with that Kyo. Another crucial frag this time up against the armored and geared up Flamey. And with level playing field for Whoa. just a second Apex strolls into the site using electric for cover and it just seems to be a back and forth game. Still no clear sight for Envy, especially considering Kyo now has fallen on B, and that bomb was making movements towards B. Maybe NBK is going to hit the brakes, though. Well, Envious have two orbs to make this push with here. Now, Edward's going to get the better of Happy there. I don't know where he was looking. Definitely not in the right direction. NBK with it all to do. It's not an easy gun to hit a sight with, that's, that's for sure, especially up against two players. He's going to try and work that ramp. Na'Vi seemed to be none the wiser to his positioning right now. He will see Edward. Will he be quick enough on the trigger? No, he will not. And Edward finishes things off. Lovely little 3k there as well with Na'Vi. Now it's getting scary. Envious, the brow must be starting to become furrowed. As only two rounds away from Na'Vi's victory. Yeah, and it's not going to be an ideal buy uh, either, I don't think. I'm starting to see. Yeah, no, some armored pistols as well. Kenny and Keo rocking those. Tech 9 and Deagle respectively. And let's see then if they can make an impact. This this is doable. This is workable. We've seen the power of the uh, pistols from other players as well as, of course, Kenny now rocking that Tech 9. But, of course, up against that Orb of Guardian. Pop Dog is smoked off there. Seize just wants to stave off any initial aggression from envious players pushing out into electric. Especially because Na'Vi have committed uh -oh. some players over towards B, but that's NBK getting involved. Now he's making things work over at, at Ivy, and Zeus has got to back up on this one. Will Apex be able to get the better of him? No. Very aggressive push. Very aggressive. Almost expecting Ivy to be clear for one reason or another, but either way, that's a frag they cannot afford to give up. It looks like NBK is going to be trying to claw something back for his team. He does so brilliantly. Finds two heads of Na'Vi. And it is going to be Kyo and Happy. Zeus a little worse for wear, but that's not going to stop his teammate. Edward doing necessary damage. One bullet from that Deagle would be enough to bring this into a 1v1. He does it! And it was the easier target! No! It's Zeus! Now with 19 points of health, does recover a rifle. Kyo, not so lucky. 44 seconds. One bullet is all it's going to take, Kyo, please. He's, He's even using the Deagle Blaze as we see the price rise. Oh, there and it more is. crazy plays continue. That's going to be two then for Kyo. As finally, he can take a sigh of relief and say, why didn't I just take the Tech 9? One bullet from that Tech 9 would have completed that set. And we do see Envious manage to fight for survival and continue to do so with a fantastic round. And look at Na'Vi now. That's going to be the reset as they did enable them to just pick up the one before fighting back. Yeah, very much a higgledy-piggledy buy from Envious there. All over the place, I guess, their armory was, but now they can shore it up a little bit more. You can see Na'Vi looking at them making this push out towards Ivy here. Three Na'Vi players going along. They're pushing that one hard. Edward now is going to be tasked with holding mid. He already takes a bit of damage there. Down towards one health, and MPK is going to take care of him. Where are Na'Vi going? That's the question. They're going to try and get around, maybe? They're going to try and make something happen here on this eco. Yeah, I mean, look at them. Just throwing their bodies towards long and nothing is coming of it at all. Flame is the only one, the only exception to that rule, and that's just because he hasn't quite been found yet. As he's going to try and make a move, does try and tickle MBK, but that's just going to be his third of that one. And Envious maintain that round. That's going to be, what is that now? Two in a row for them, as this has just been three so far from Navi on their CT side. Trying to do the maths. Was it was it four they got? Yeah, okay. So Envy did get four on their TT side. So now we just need one extra in order to level the playing field. Still down to pistols. A couple of 5.7s and P250s here for Navi. And not a lot of armor as well. So definitely 
committing themselves to the double eco here in hopes of just being able to squeeze out those last two rounds against Envious, but this will put them very, very close. Let's see what Navi can do with this financial detriment that they have. Three players over on A for them. Edward actually pushing up quite aggressively, hoping just to get to grips. Maybe he can find a wild Kenius amongst the periphery. Not sure whether Envy are, uh, are playing this incredibly smart with this five-man stack, considering that Navi are still stuck on A, or maybe Navi just have kind of overread into this one. Either way, they have going into a 5v2 scenario if they start to pick up the pace here. And there we go. The call is made as the smokes get thrown out. They're going to have to pull up their shoes and start to run because here comes C's. Just a 5-7 and he's doing damage with the 5-7. Two, three for Flamey as he adds one to the pile. And now NBK and Happy are left to finish this one for the French. And now V, if they win this round, it would be truly insane. It doesn't look like NBK and Happy are going to let it happen. Early damage done. But fortunately, those deadly duo of NBK and Happy pick up two apiece and manage to keep their team in it. That would have been the 15th for Navi. Great damage, though, done by Seized with that early 5-7. So you're happy just rifling through the corpses of your teammates to try and find the Dragon Law. And it was great work by Seized there. I mean, you have to kind of back yourself in those situations, especially when you're sort of half flash pushing into something that's obviously a set play. He, he disrupted it quite nicely, but Envious had the stack. They were committed towards that site. And as the smoke clears and as the chaos sort of starts to dis dissipate, I guess those with the better guns will generally sort of the advantage, especially in those elongated fights. Now, Happy's going to push towards C's there. Great work. Uh, he's going to head straight back up Pop Dog, though, and just avoid any sort of revenge shots coming in towards him. Flamey with an AWP and Guardian with him as well. They've now saved up. They want to invest in this round. They, they can't afford to lose it. Happy potentially just faking that death cam as well. Diving up the ladder to return. As he is going to once again make a resurgence through Pop Dog. There is Edward on site. That would be his pick. And NBK, fortunate to be alive, does have the AWP shot whistle past him. It's going to be a smoke exchange as well, as he does manage to keep both Guardian and Zeus busy, or at least to an extent, because Guardian is one of those roamers. He was going to just have a couple of shots towards Ivy, a couple of shots towards Connector, and he keeps being this kind of pivot point for the Na'Vi defense. Guardian, though, he's always there. He's always going to be able to pick up the player if they cross his crosshair. And that's Kiyoshima going down now in the 4v4. Still, well, orbs on the map. Two for Navi at this stage. Let's see what Garda can do with it now as he continues to persist here in mid as Molotov goes on towards the side. It's a great flick up to take out Kenny S. And now only one player is left. Flamey is chiming in. Flamey makes it his second. And there's Navi. They backed themselves. They had to win that round. And they have done it. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, double AWP is going to be the rule of thumb for Train. Again and again, you see these kind of instances of just like 60 to 80% of those frags all being picked up by that AWP. And it really is just going to be uh, a quick flick from Guardian here. You can see just how quickly he moved that mouse, catching the flick head of the Kenny, wrist. no less. And now that's going to put 15 on the board for Navi. This is where it is crunch time for NV. Two rounds needed in order to take this into overtime. And they have got uh, what exactly what the Doctor ordered. They have the double AWP of their own. Four AWPs now currently on the map. Four AWPs. Envious. They are more than happy to invest and buy a big in kind. Let's see if it pays out for them now, of course. I mean, I mean, Happy and Kenny is going up against Guardian and Seas. Some big numbers there. Let's see what these guys can achieve, though. So for the most part, things are slowed up a bit. Apex. He's actually over towards mid. You can see C's there. He'll be on B. And Kenny S and MBK, again, they're on Ivy duty. They want to break their way through. There's always going to be Zeus and Guardian. Always likes to duck back and get involved in that one as well. The bomb is still being left in CT as well near break room. So there's no commitment here though, uh, towards T. Sorry, no commitment. But Guardian, always the first aggressor. Always the guy to push up here. You can see him now going straight towards those tunnels. But Apex will shut him down. Oh, look at that position. That is so damn sexy from Edward. Wow, he's been doing that all game, actually. We saw that course previously practiced in this in the strat mode but no not going to be able to find anything just yet and it does come down then to our final 35 seconds of the round the bomb starting to move its way over towards that b site but navi are ready it's just gonna be mbk who tries to maybe just draw their commitment a little towards a doesn't look like it's gonna be working because seized seems to have a good reach as does flamey the bodies are still starting to cause problems as this time Navi keeping that site safe. Quick rotate then from Apex as he does dive down Pop Dog to try and get the bomb down on A. NBK 
is nicely positioned for this one. This could be a beautiful turnaround from Envy. Envious then must win this round, of course. It goes without saying, and he was sitting inside connected, but Navi has circumvented him completely. They're going straight back around towards the tunnels. Well, MVK, he manages to get one, but there's two players firing into that situation, and he's left his buddy Apex on his own to try and keep his team in the match. He's thinking about a Molotov right now. He's got two players just thundering out towards him now. He has to hold. He's got the flash as well. Apex so low in health, and sees Will. Well, toughest opposition. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fair to say. Say Penta. This time on overpass, uh, which was a bit of an odd one considering